An Alabama quarterback, Jalen Milrow, feels he's taken responsibility. He's ready to lead. But he's up against a tremendously talented South Carolina defense. Kyle Kennard has five and a half sacks. He's set for a big day. It's number seven Alabama, ready to show the world what they're really all about, taking on a hungry and capable South Carolina squad. I'm all about 11 a.m. local kicks right now. This is absolutely perfect. As Herrera kicks away. We will say hello to Justice Haynes will start in the backfield as he splits out. They'll get him the ball right away. Here's Haynes in space, and he's taken down at about the 28-yard line. Milrow on first down gets it out quickly, and turning the corner is Bernard, and Jeremy Bernard breaks free and gets a big explosive for Bama early on. For Jeremy Bernard, a 30-yard reception. Empty set now on first down. High snap that Milrose able to feel. And with patience, he finds his target, Cole Adams, and it's first and goal, Alabama. He pulls it to the corner and in with ease. One-yard touchdown run, Jalen Milrose. Hit with the run right here. Milrow just able to keep it himself and take it outside. Really nice job of execution. Could not have asked for a better start. Alabama on the board early here in Tuscaloosa. 7 0 over the Gamecocks. Same could be said of his running back, Rocket Sanders. That is batted right at the line of scrimmage. Grover with a knuckler downfield as it does take a very good South Carolina bounce and Cole Adams makes a risky decision. Milrow launches downfield in stride but just beyond the uber talented Ryan Williams. And now they split back into formation as Joe DiCamillis special teams guru giving it a shot and Burnup quickly had to get it off and the flag does come down so they send it automatic first when it's roughing the kicker they're coming off the edge I mean he dives under his leg and the punter is going down to land and did you see the balls snap? on him yeah when you know the rush is coming Hibbert the snap I mean that was Burnup just fielding that and to get the operation off in that time is that roughing the kicker to you Joe or is that contacting the kicker wow they got roughing the kicker and not contacting the kicker I was gonna I was wondering what that was going to be in the previous spot it is first down you mentioned the plant foot, and that's critical because that is probably one of the most exposed positions you can be in in all of football. So back to business on first down. 12-yard reception to Bernard. First and 10. Milrow, plenty of time, and he goes to Dupree. C.J. Dupree. And now all of a sudden, the South Carolina defense that did their job. This way, and then he comes back over here to just find Dupree, just kind of spot up into the sight of vision. He's doing a really nice job, Joe, of just getting through his progressions, knows where his checkdowns are. Downfield. Oh. On the offense, number five. He was covered up and went downfield. That's a five-yard penalty. It is first down. So a late penalty because the receiver, Jeremy Bernard, was covered up making him an ineligible receiver right. to number five Kennard standing up at the bottom of that line here's third and nine and it gets to him Kyle Kennard was in that stance just saying I got him in my sights and he finds him with a sack and now burn up back out to punt as he hits a sky punt deep and McDowell will field it inside the 10 on the return and he just picks up a couple yards there. You're number one in the country, and then you lose to an unranked opponent. That's what happened with Alabama as Sellers tries to connect, and he does so with Jacobs. That's only happened, Jesse, a couple years ago at Arkansas. Guy went for over 1,400 yards. Second and eight. Shallow cross is complete. It's Michael Smith, the true freshman tight end. And that's a first down South Carolina. We like that last drive we had defensively. Uh, got a drive going right here. Wish we had thrown that ball and not ran that last one on the quarterback draw. But uh, got to finish. It's going to be a, a four-quarter game. And one of the keys for us this week as a team was to finish drives. That time it was Q Robinson coming off the edge. He just assaulted Case and Henry, the right tackle, getting to the QB. Third down and 21. So they set up the draw to Attaway. Attaway splits defenders and spins his way past midfield. Where a flag is down. 
personal foul, roughing the passer, number 11. Contact above the shoulders, 15-yard penalty results in a first down. That is such a costly flag. Throw this screen, his right hand gets up, he just grazes his face mask. It's not a knockout blow by any stretch, unless defensively that changes. Second and seven, Sellers is going to keep it. Sellers is going to turn the corner, but he was undercut at the last second by Damani Jackson. Derry Joe, that, that really has struggled the last two weeks as well. You see him going down deep. It looks like maybe he, take, he takes a knee right to the side of the body. He's going in the tent now very... And it's third down and three. Sellers gobbled up and taken down again. Tim Smith has been so active, Jesse. Fourth and 11, they bring pressure, they get it out quickly, but unable to get there is Joshua Simon, their big tight end, so it'll go down as a turnover on down. As they continue to recover from the aftermath of the recent hurricane, as Ryan Williams is able to break free and scoot ahead. Checked in with Andy, by the way. Bama only one of four today on third down. Here's a third and five. No row with Kennard, chasing more pressure, and they get to him. How about this Gamecocks defense with Knight finishing it up? Well, he's been wrecking games, Joe. He's been living in people's backfields. You can just see the speed he has off the edge is just unbelievable. Second punt of the day for Burnup. Outside the numbers, takes an excellent bounce before McDowell fields it. QB run. After the penalty, first and 15. Here is the quarterback run with Robbie Ashford. You can see the burst that he provides, tackled by Cam. He is willing to do more of in this game. So here's now Sellers on third and nine. Man in his face somehow kept his footing and then goes downfield where he nearly connects with Larvadan. That initially gets the pressure on Sellers, and I don't know how Sellers got, kept his balance and got out of this, got his eyes back downfield, found Larbadan. On a very good looking opening drive from Alabama, but since then the South Carolina defense has responded. Jan Miller out of the backfield. Interviews during the combine. Ooh. He keeps it and does it in smart fashion as Milrow breaks free and gets out of bounds at the 13 yard line. First and goal. Haynes into the end zone. Touchdown tie. And the thing is, because of Jalen Milrow's running ability, then when you hand it off, because they think he might keep it himself. So off the edge that time, Jalen Kilgore and Nick Eman Wari, they, they weren't totally sure. The SEC this year just feels a little bit different with more parity. Next week, you're going to have Hernandez versus Pereira on what will be a big UFC Saturday and a huge. Second and five. He'll keep it. Sellers going to try to bounce it. And you see that speed and those natural gifts to turn on the wheels and get the first down. Sellers had to quickly get it out and can't get anywhere. The true freshman Bennett was undercut by Mbakwe. Fourth down and nine for South Carolina. Sellers on fourth down with time. Going to take a strike to the end zone and a touchdown scored by Bennett. Wide open, Mazio Bennett, touchdown. Post on the outside, and that's going to occupy this safety. And it's Mazio Bennett on the inside, taking his time on the wheel route, and there was nobody deep in the third for Alabama. Really nice design and play call here by Dole Logans. Milro just had to get rid of it as he was drifting back into the end zone. And the officials are going to talk this one over. That should be a safety. That should it be could be. Grand. That was Kyle Kennard again. And the flag comes in. And Shane Beamer says, is that a safety? I want a safety out of this. Keep in mind, the injury at cornerback for Alabama as well. Sellers quickly gets it out as he goes to Simon, the big tight end. Sellers on first down. He is pressure. That ball's loose. That is recovered by Alabama. Can't take
take a sack, but you can't compound the problem by doing something like this. It's hard just reading his body language, figuring out what he was trying to do in the first place. 48 seconds and two timeouts for Jalen Milrow, who's going to run the ball, and he's taken down. A tackle for loss. Guess who? Kyle Kennard. Milrow, final seconds here before halftime. That ball's picked off. That is picked off by Kilgore. Kilgore, seconds remaining. They've got zeros on the clock for right now. He stepped out at the 19. The game clock was at zeros. Let's take a look at this again. Slow developing play. That's a dangerous throw and decision. And Kilgore not only making the pick, but getting downfield. See, right there, he's out of bounds. It looks like three seconds to go on the game clock here. An opportunity for Alex Herrera in South Carolina to try to get a get field goal off. Herrera comes in for three unexpected points for upset-seeking South Carolina. Herrera puts it through. What an absolute wild final couple of minutes here in Tuscaloosa. Third and five. He pumps and then runs. And with that, it's a first down South Carolina. We got a true freshman out at the other. Sellers, pocket collapsing, he escapes. Pumps again, turns the corner, and you see the wheels of Lenora Sellers. Remember, he had a 75-yard touchdown against LSU, and it's another first down. Opening drive of the second half, Sellers. He is sacked that time. Third down and 15. Drives the ball complete over the middle for a first down to Bennett. Sellers shuffles it ahead to Attaway. Here goes Attaway inside the 10. It is first and goal South Carolina. Second half opening drive unless you score. Sellers. And will they do that right here as fighting his way to the one yard line is Joshua and that's Simon, who's lined up as the offset running back as Rocket Sanders takes it in. And South Carolina takes the lead at Bama. And Rocket Sanders just ran through 245 pound Jihad Campbell right at the line of scrimmage. I said it earlier, Sanders, one of the best short yardage goal line running backs I've seen this year. Chance to make this stop right at the line of scrimmage, but low man wins, and that's Sanders. Career, Jess. You asked me what's my favorite game I've ever done. Uh -huh. Each and every year I've ever done that game, I just love I everything it. about it. Here is Henderson on the return as he is met. Ball comes out! The ball comes out! Efforts like this. They are playing with intensity. That is Joe D. Camillus's group. Is out on the field. 6-14 remaining in the third, and the first time we see him in this second half as he gets it complete to Cole Adams, who kept his balance and goes for more. Like at this point right here, he's spinning out of it. Watch the knees on a defender's body. Wow. And such awareness to just roll over from South Carolina, but number two is a guy that has to get involved. Second and eight. Here's Milrow. Milrow pressured again, has to check down again, and hangs with blockers in front, and a first down Alabama. Milrow, quarterback run. And did he ever have a pathway with Brailsford? The board, what does he dial up on third and one? Jam Miller. Miller's got the first down, a stiff arm, and a little more. First down, Alabama. Milrow back to pass. To the end zone he goes. Intercepted! O'Donnell Fortune with the pickoff in the end zone! We are starting to get to that point in the game when you look up at the clock. Sellers downfield, and that's incomplete. And you start, and a flag comes in as Malachi Moore was there. Firmly wrapped around Defense, the receiver. Number 13, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. 
Six penalty on Alabama for 51 yards. Ball is loose. The ball is loose. A fight for the ball. And Alabama's got it. He's got to start throwing with a little bit more conviction. Second and two. Milrow looking for an option. And finding Ryan Williams inside the 10. First and goal. Milrow with blockers in front. Milrow into the end zone. That is a touchdown, Alabama. Don't worry about what you're seeing in the end zone. That's a touchdown tied. And Alabama retakes the lead. Railsford, let's get our right guard. Roberts out in front. We're kicking dudes outside. And Milrow pays it off. With the touchdown, Bama back on top by one point. Dad loves it. Two-point attempt. Milrow to the end zone, and that's incomplete. And it'll stay a one-point margin as Swain. Rocket Sanders, here he goes! Jump play from the Rocket. 23-yard run from Sanders. Patiently waiting, now bouncing, and Sanders goes for eight yards. That's what I'm saying, man. Normally, 230-pound running backs are just kind of one-cut north guys. Sellers. He gets it complete. Another first down for South Carolina. Dre Jacobs. Sellers right now, 18 of 21 thrown it. Attaway breaking tackles as a flag comes down. We will check on that as it stands right now. Attaway's got it down to the 23 yard line. Offense number 52, 10 yard penalty, first down. Against this fiery South Carolina team facing a third and 18, but trying to get in field goal position. Sellers. Larvadan spinning free as he gets to the 33. Alex Herrera, does he have it? No way, not close. Bama maintains the one-point margin. Second down and 10. Milrow being chased again, but keeps his footing. And now this is where he's dangerous as he strides out and reaches the ball for that line to gain. He quickly get it to C.J. Dupree, the tight end who makes his mark towards the 41-yard line. All of American sports coming your way in moments. This is Jan Miller on third and three, and Miller will have the first down for Alabama against unranked South Carolina. Third down and 10. Milrow back to pass. Wants more than 10, and he's got it! Touchdown, Jeremy Bernard! They're going to be running some over routes this way. Safety runs back in the middle of the field, but nobody has Bernard running on the smash route. You see some motion early. They're, they're all discombobulated and bunched up in the middle of the field. That's the first time in this game South Carolina just looked out of sorts. And on a critical third and long late, Jalen Milrow, their Heisman candidate, answers with a strike to Bernard. He has two rushing touchdowns today. And that passing touchdown there. First down, minute 14 to play. Sellers with time, and it gets a complete pass midfield. All right, South Carolina's in business here. Sellers pocket collapsing. Worst case scenario, flag does come in. We'll check on that as Q Robinson gets in on Sellers. Was there a face mask yeah, there? I think it was the left tackle, Josiah Thompson, got his hands in the face of Q Robinson off the edge. Trying to First block Q Robinson. Face mask, defense, number 34. The result of the play was a fumble recovered by Alabama. Enforce the penalty from the previous spot. It'll be first down. And watch him on the left side here. Right there. You see that? See the right tackle? He tugged his face mask with, with his right hand. 31 yards away. Only an eight-point game. South Carolina. Here's the strike they want to the end zone. Incomplete. They were looking for big six-foot-five Nick Harbour. They got to look at that 
that again because his his right foot was really close to being in bounds. Face mask. You just got the sense they're in range now. They can take the strike they want. They took it, and based on this call, they may land the jackpot here. There's the toe synced up with the catch. Nick Harbor, is it a touchdown? I think if you're the offensive coordinator. After review, the receiver had firm control and had his foot in bounds. Therefore, it's a touchdown. Wow. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Here we go. Two point conversion to tie this game. Sellers. Looking for something to the end zone. Overthrows it. The punter is who they use in this onside scenario. Here it is. It's a wobbler. It's got to go 10 yards. It's loose. It's loose. South Carolina's got it. South Carolina's got it. This thing was just curving and curving. You see Cuevas goes down to get it off of his chest. Then it's Oots. Two tight ends had an opportunity for Alabama to secure that football. They couldn't get it done, and South Carolina still has life. Colin Bryant looks like he is the one who recovered. South Carolina football. Sellers, is there some magic in his arm? Intercepted. Damani Jackson, who left the game injured came back and is going to put an end to it right here. That was awesome stuff. Just awesome. How great is the SEC on a day?